good team exclusive welcome back to some more fifa 21 content today we are doing the goated player career mode now we're not using ibra we're not using messi we're not using ronaldo it's not really obvious who we're using so i think uh, we'll, we'll jump straight into it and I'll, I'll show you who we're using because it is the it's not mbappe either because uh, he's a fraud but uh, we are using the one the only the greatest player in all of English football. It's your boy, Eddie Nketiah. Let's go. Anyway, um, yeah, I, I wanted to give it a go. I've never done a player career player career mode or player career before ever in any FIFA. So I thought it could be, could be quite fun to see what's, uh, what's, uh, what's going on. I assume everything's going to be pretty much the same as the normal career mode. So transfer window, legendary. We'll start on legendary. If it's a bit too easy, we'll knock it up to ultimate. Six minutes is fine. Um, actually, I might knock that down to... I'll knock it down to four, just so I can get a few more games in. Pound sterling, European cut, it doesn't matter. We're playing with Arsenal, so we're not going to get those anyway. Okay, so this is going to be interesting because, like I said, I've never done one of these before. So I don't fully know um, exactly what's going on. But it should be quite interesting to have a career mode solely focused on the best player in the world. Which, of course, is Eddie Nketiah. Um, okay, so... Set of expectations for you. Okay, that's fine. Um, yeah, I kind of knew about this. Keep an average league match rating of six. Okay, it's not too bad. Um, minimum goals. Oh, set up minimum goals. Uh, five goals. Okay. Score at least six. Six goals this season. Six. There we go. So, training done. Um, surprisingly... The only thing he was actually really good at was defending and free kicks. I mean, free kicks was more just me, but still. Because it's a player career mode, I'm going to try playing just as Inketia. See what happens. Because I feel like if I play as the team, it's just going to be basically, um, you know, an Arsenal career mode. Just, I'm not the manager. Okay, a good run. In good space. And watch this. Inketia. Ooh, almost already. Let's go. This, this, this kid is special telling you look at that shot bang great pass give it oh wait it was the right idea pass again in ketia oh okay okay this is interesting i'm learning how to play with the team this is actually very interesting can he get there he is quick can get there feed me in Nketiah, let's go! Big boy, Eddie Nketiah. You love to see it. What a pass by Aubameyang. First time finish. Big things you love to see. Let's go. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't the greatest finish in the world, let's face it. But, anyway, got it in the back of the net. It's all that counts. Bang. Great goal. Hey, well, so far, 9.1 rating. Can't argue with it. Uh, one goal... 45 minutes played. Obviously, the game's going to be going a bit quicker, which I uh, did forget about because I put it to four minutes. But So we might get a few less goals in the game, but also means we can play a few more games. So I think that's probably better in the long run. Wait, pass it. Willian. Oh, that is such a nice pass. Willian with a sensational through ball to put the boy, the prodigy son, in on through. Look at this. Look at his passing play. Just the space. Drew it open. Bang. Sent the goalkeeper the wrong way. You love to see it. Eddie Nketiah gets his second goal of the game. Like, they, they just if this goes to show us anything, um, that uh, Arsenal should start Eddie Nketiah more often as striker. You know, just he, he's just bossing it. Just clearly boss it. Clearly the best player in the team. Oh, Nketiah. Nketiah, let's go! Nketiah for the hat trick. You love to see it. What a pass by Udegaard. Martin Ud. Udegaard. Look at this. And then just the oof, touch around the, around the defending. It's just holding him off, man. So strong. So did, someone, did someone say R9 Ronaldo? No. Big win. Big, big win. If this is any sign to come, that uh, like, match ball already, Eddie Nketiah just. It's just. He just bossed it. Ten attempts. Three on target. Admittedly, quite a few of those were, were very speculative. But you love to see it. You love to see it. Yeah, look, if there's any uh, any sign to come 
for the Premier League season, uh, it could be looking at like, I mean, that's half my expected goal tally in one game. So I'm just saying, you know, 36 more games or so, it could be looking at like a 90 goal season. <laughs> Can we just quick sim it? So we've got Nketiah at the top. I mean, he's on low stamina, so I'm not sure if he's actually going to play the full game anyway. Uh, for some reason, Tierney is playing centre back and Gabriel is playing left wing back. Classic Arsenal, isn't it? Classic Arsenal to do that. Uh, Jacka party, Willian. We'll, we'll quick sum it. See if we win, lose. We won 3 0. Yeah, let's go. Eddie Nakete back in a goal as well. Martinelli with the first one. Socrates with a yellow card. Got Orba for Nakete, which is understandable. Orba getting a goal. Nice. Okay. So, I mean, won the game, so that's all that matters. I, I don't think there's much point playing these initial ones. Um, they don't really, they don't count to anything in your stats. So, what's the point? Quick sim, what are we saying? Arsenal win, please. Hey, let's go. Orb with the last goal. Orb with the first goal. You got a hat trick. Yo, let's go. Big ups, the Orba. Lacazette for Nketiah. Orba yellow. Urzel for Xhaka. Good to see Ur Urzel still, still went Arsenal. One, that's one good thing that... Uh, not loading the, the, the latest squads has done, I suppose. But big, big result. FA Community Shield is quite a big game. So, obviously, we're 73 rated now. Gone up by one already. We've got Matip. Matip? Wait. Matip plays for Arsenal? <laughs> what is going on? What is happening? Here we go. Big, big game. There's Matip. It's quite good in, a, in an Arsenal shirt, I suppose, but... Why we chose to buy Matip, of all people, I don't know. Come at the back. Why is he not? Oh, wait. It's worked. Let's go. Eddie Nketiah, the defender, fully shat the bed. Let's go. I was so confused. I was asked for the ball, and he just didn't give it to me. But it worked out. It worked out. Defender completely moved away. Bang. Allison never get into that. Big, big goal. All right. So, a solid first half, to be fair. It's been pretty boring. Like, uh, these Liverpools just, uh, they just don't want to, like, do anything. They're trying to attack. And fair enough, they actually do, do look quite dangerous. But, um, yeah, they're just kind of just wasting time, to be honest. One shot, one on target, one goal. Uh, yeah, I got marked down for not keeping my position. But I just instinctively try and run back when I'm just... I just keep forgetting I'm playing as just the striker. So, that's going to take some getting used to. Literally, we're playing five at the back, but we can't fucking defend. This is horrendous. Why do they keep doing that? Why do they keep doing a giant over-the-top through ball? This is actually insane. I'm really regretting not accepting Stoke. <laughs> Crazy. But there we go. That's how the game ends. I mean, th that was basically as if it was a real game. And basically, that was like the Champions League final. Chelsea being us. And then them being Man City, where we scored one goal somehow and then just went all out, parked the bus and still apparently couldn't defend. But either way, there we go. Hopefully I get to lift the trophy. Of course I don't because God knows. Big, big result. There we go. So, yeah, at least we won the FA Cup Community Shield thing. I'm not sure exactly how important that is, but it's, uh, it's our first piece of silverware, I suppose, for the season. Which is always, I mean, it's better than the current season Arsenal have had, isn't it? So... Anything is, a, anything is a bonus. We're playing, we're playing against Aston Villa, which are currently fourth in the uh, in the table. That is, of course, because nobody has played any games. Martin Udegaard is minus two. Oh, because he's CM, yeah. Alaba? Wow, okay. No, wait. What a pass by Orba. Oh my God, let's go. 1-0 Arsenal, Eddie Nketi, you love to see it. I um, I, I was concentrating. I didn't actually think he was going to make that pass. I did ask for like a, a, a cross, but you know, he, he decided better, to be fair. Didn't think it was going to go anywhere, that uh, opportunity, but somehow just found some space. Let's go. Let's go. I'm just a native striker. I didn't even know I was in that kind of space until, <laughs> until it happened. So, big goal. Oh, wait, back stick. <laughs> I 
I'll take it. I'll take the assist. Hey, gotta gotta get the assist somehow. I genuinely didn't mean to pass it, but we take it. How has that gone in? How has that gone in? What happened? Because I asked for the ball there, so you can see my hand went up. And then he kind of kicked it, hit my head, and then it went to Udegaard and he scored it. Good lord. Maybe um, maybe Arsenal was the wrong team to start with. Jeez. I, like I said before, I am really regretting not accepting Stoke because the way Arsenal play is they play like five back. So once you lose the ball, they all just kind of drop back and it's all just defending and you're just kind of stood there going, well, what do I do now then as a striker? Because if you come back and help in defence, you get penalised for staying out of position. But it is what it is. You know, it is what it is. One shot off target, uh, one shot on, two off target. It is what it is. We actually conceded as well. This is actually gross. Actually gross. How uh, Everton have just scored against us. Horrible. This could be bad. They're not defending. They're literally not defending. Holy shit, man. Why does our team not defend like theirs do? As soon as I get the ball, they're all over me like flies. But as soon as they get the ball, they just back off. It's actually painful playing as Arsenal. I don't think it would be, but it literally is. It's just pain. Take the tackle. Is like he's backing off. Fucking make the tackle. Jesus Christ, man. No. Fuck. This team sucks, man. This fucking Arsenal fucking sucks. Unreal. I love how every single time I asked for the ball, I got penalised saying bad ball call or whatever the shitty thing they say. I got 8.5, which is good, I suppose, but like good passing, well done, allowing the team to control possession, whatever. Uh, like, Jesus Christ. I just, I just, I just despair sometimes. Like, Arsenal's defending was just shambolic. They just like backed off. Alaba, they, like they signed Alaba and he just like backed off in every single challenge. So fuck knows what his problem is. Our next game is against Spurs. So currently we played three games. Well, technically four if you count the uh, the um, well, the first one, whichever the, the or five is it? Because the first one was that trophy cup, which no one cared about. And then the second one was the FA Cup or the Community Shield rather. Um, I'm also going to go with uh, EN7. Let's go. EN7. He'd love to see it. You have not been selected in today's squad. Okay, well, fair enough. I might as well just, uh, before I end the episode, might as well just quick sim this one. Martinelli playing striker. God knows why. And we lost because it's fucking Arsenal. This is going terribly. And this is going terribly. We could end up in the championship. This could. This is actually basically a rerun of, of in our entire season. Rerun of, in, of our entire season. I was hoping it would be slightly better, but it's literally not. We're, we're just, we're just being really shit. And now we're thirteenth. Now we're thirteenth in the uh, in the league. Oh god, you've not been selecting today's squad. What is going on? Why are they not selecting me? We might as well just sim this one as well then. So we've got Martinelli playing striker. Why didn't they play Orba striker and Martinelli on the left? Because Orba is... He can play striker. <sighs> Don't know. We won. Okay, so... Bolligan and... Who else scored? Udegaard scored. Very nice. Alaba got sent off. You don't love to see that. You don't love to see that. All right, well... I mean, I'm 74 rated now, which is pretty good. So I've gone up two ratings in the space of a good few months. It's pretty good. Finishing's up to 77 as well. Very, very nice. Stamina up to almost 70. Short pass up to almost 69. Nice. Defending's coming on quite well. So <laughs> can't argue with that. Long shot, 70. Okay. Okay, interesting. It's just going to be really interesting to see if and when... Um, I become like 90 rated, if that's even possible. They brought in Larm. Oh my god, I forgot about the icons. Oh yeah. <laughs> Eto, <laughs> Zando Torres. Interesting. Matip and Joe Gomez. Let's go. Finally, Joe Gomez is gone. Jesus Christ. Caicedo. Zinchenko, they let go. Interesting. Skriniar, Mukiele, 
Bellarabi. Very, uh, they sold Tanzibi as well. Very, uh, very realistic um, signings for what they actually need. Maybe not the exact players, but like, you know, like fullback, centre back kind of thing, and uh, a fairly decent like right, right mid ish. So that's pretty pretty cool to be honest. They also showed Luke Shaw, Tanzibian led, Lard, Socrates. They sold Shelby, Gail Clark, Eggstein. Interesting. Oh no, he's not. He's still in the prem. Fuck. They bought Joe Gomez. So it doesn't look like there's going to be any transfers for me, which is quite good. So I'd rather stay at Arsenal, but also I kind of wouldn't. Um, I suppose maybe it's a bit too uh, bit too late to, or a bit too early to want to move away. But uh, yeah, there's that done. Hopefully I'll just be picked for the next, um, uh, next game so I can end this episode. We'll see. Currently we're ninth, six points, not looking too bad. It's the very start of the season, so uh so you love to see it. Wow, Chelsea are having an absolute stinker. Won no games, lost four. Unheard of. It could be a big top six kind of being relegated. Crazy. I mean, we'll probably be next, so I shouldn't laugh for too long, but yeah, let's go. Either way, I think that's probably a good place to end off today's episode. Played about four between four and six games uh four of the premier league ones anyway making good progress it's actually a really interesting thing as well really interesting uh aspect of fifa that i haven't actually really ever experienced trying to play with just one single player so i don't know hopefully it's enjoyable anyway hopefully it's somewhat enjoyable but yeah but yeah so with all that said i do hope you enjoyed hopefully you enjoyed this uh new kind of series of fifa like uh, you know i just i'm trying to find something you know to do that isn't to do with ultimate team um you know it's just a bit dead at the moment like i say hopefully when the euros come around that'll be when fifa kind of picks back up again for a bit and obviously like with our series um that might bring a little bit more enjoyment back to the game for now there's not just there's just not a lot to do and i don't really care for team of the season too much anymore it's just kind of a bit dead so yeah it is what it is Either way, I really have enjoyed this video. If you have, of course, please do drop it a like. That'd be very, very much appreciated. If you want to see more of this content, we are, of course, doing a career mode with uh, Plymouth Argyle. Very, very interesting stuff. A lot of really unrealistic transfers with icons and all that kind of stuff. So um, it's good fun. And obviously, we're doing this. Plenty of Ultimate Team stuff as well. So if you want to see any of that, please do uh, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and become part of the exclusive family. But with that said, I do hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching and as always, we'll see you next time.